All right, I'm Chris Campbell. I'm a practicing CPA, and I work with small businesses and individuals to help them pay the least amount of tax as possible while keeping them out of jail. So today I wanted to talk about business owners located overseas. It can be a pretty good deal if you're operating a business overseas. I have a couple clients that are U.S. citizens, but they reside overseas and operate U.S.-based businesses while doing so, meaning that the businesses are registered here in the States. They just happen to be located overseas. From a tax perspective, it's actually a pretty good deal. You're involved in a business where you may be able to work from anywhere, especially in this uh, new age of remote working. It's pretty tax advantageous because the IRS has something called the Foreign Earned Income Exclusion. And what it is is the IRS allows you to exclude for your income a certain amount of money each year. And it goes up every year, so it's in the neighborhood of about 1000 20000 I think it's, yeah, it's in that neighborhood. It goes up each year to account for inflation. But essentially, it allows you to earn up to that dollar amount. Let's just use 120000 almost tax-free. And I'll say almost because you're still on the hook for Social Security tax. If you are self-employed and you're running a sole proprietorship, single member LLC, you won't have any income tax on that first 120 net income, but you will have to pay the Social Security tax, which is roughly 15%. So I advise my clients in this situation that their tax bracket is roughly 15%. Where in comparison, had they earned that money in the States, if you add the 15% to the, the normal tax bracket that they would have been in, probably would have been closer to 45% um, once you factor in the state tax as well. So the drop from 40, 45% down to 15, uh, it's a pretty good saving. So it might be something to consider if you're into the traveling or digital nomad lifestyle. It could be a good way to save on taxes now. You may want to consider or do calculations if you want to have an S corporation operating in this manner because profits of the S corporation, which are normally taxable to the owner, those don't avoid uh, foreign income. That is, let's say you had 60000 as a salary from your corporation and your company had a net income of 60000 while the salary that you paid yourself, that's out, that 60000 would be excluded from your income. But the net income from the company itself, the other sixty thousand, um, that would not be that would be added uh, to your income. So you do have to take that into consideration. If it's more than one owner, you may want to consider a partnership versus doing an S corporation, because the partnership profits do fall under the exclusion. There's a little bit of a nuance there, and there might be a couple other factors there, but you'll have to consult with whoever. Uh, you work with or numbers to see which situation may work best for you. The nugget here is that uh, if you are able to work from overseas, you know, it can save you a good amount of money in taxes. So that's all for now. If you have any more questions about this particular topic or any other tax accounting or business questions, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help. I'll see you on the next one.